Hey guys, and welcome to episode 182 of the James Layton Fitness Podcast. Now, in this specific episode, we'll be discussing cardio. Should you be doing this before weights or after your weight training? So this is a very common question. However, I would say the majority of people get this wrong, particularly females when they're trying to lose body fat in particular. They definitely do this the wrong way around. Now, firstly, we need to actually take a step, take a step back and look at our two goals within the fat loss phase. That's right. We don't just have one priority within the fat loss phase, which is losing body fat. We have that second objective of also maintaining as much muscle mass as possible. And it's really that second objective of maintaining as much muscle mass as possible, which really dictates how we approach the fat loss phase. So because we're trying to maintain as much muscle mass as possible, this applies to males and females, that therefore means that we need to be prioritizing our weight training. That really is our main focus to preserve that, to preserve our strength as much as possible within the fat loss phase because that will therefore mean we'll maintain more muscle mass within the fat loss phase and then ultimately achieve the look we're after. As a male, we're obviously looking to maintain as much muscle mass as possible to achieve that dry, shredded look. But even as a female, we still want to be maintaining as much muscle mass as possible because that's going to give you curves in the right areas, going to have leave you with well-developed glutes and legs to find shoulders and arms. That all comes from having weight training not only as the foundation of our routine but also trying to preserve as much strength as possible within the fat loss phase and that therefore means that make sure that the weight training comes first i want you to be doing your cardio either after the weight training session several hours prior to the weight training bout or on a non-training day you do not want to be doing your cardio immediately before your weight training and unfortunately that's what a lot of people do the reason why is if you do cardio immediately before weights you're then going to be fatigued for your weight training session and therefore you're going to lose strength within that that session and those sessions and as a result you're going to lose more muscle mass within the fat loss phase it's critical that the weight training is our priority have the cardio either after the weight training session at least several hours prior to the weight training bout or on a non-training day now in addition to that it's important to note that when you're adding in additional cardio sessions you're trying to use the minimum effective dose remember that the goal within the fat loss phase is trying to basically lose body fat on as many calories as we can on minimal cardio because again that allows us to maintain more strength and muscle mass so keep that in mind with regards to your cardio in addition to that keep in mind that you've got two tools within the fat loss phase to basically continue creating that calorie deficit need for fat loss we can all, we can add more cardio or you can decrease calories so remember to use both the tools you don't want to be relying on one or the other if you just rely on adding more cardio Within a very short period of time, you'll be doing cardio almost every day and you'll just run out of time. The flip side, if you're just focusing on reducing calories, you'll be in a very you'll be in a position where you will be barely eating any calories, you'll be tired, hungry all the time, you'll lose more strength and muscle mass. So you want to be trying to use a combination of both dropping calories and also adding more cardio so hopefully this has been useful remember that main principle of what i spoke about before the reason why we're focusing on having cardio after the weight training session at least several hours beforehand or on a non-trained day is because we want to preserve our strength as best as possible preserve our muscle mass as much as possible within the fat loss phase and that's so so important to remember so thank you very much for listening if you're still yet to subscribe to the podcast please do so you don't miss an episode as these come out every single week thank you very much i'll speak to you soon